Hello everyone, welcome back to Crafting with Janine. Today I'm going to show you how to make this really simple, really pretty wired ribbon bow that you could put a clip on it and you could do the same method with regular ribbon as well. Um, these are more, I like to use these more for wreaths or Christmas tree decorations, but I had a request so I figured I'd go ahead and show you guys how to do that, how I do this, like to do this. So here we go. So I'm using inch and a half uh, wired ribbon. And this one's kind of like, it's got the, the mesh stuff. You can use any type of wired ribbon for this to get your loops to stay the same. And what I am using is this template that I made. Um, it is eight inches wide this way and I like the way the bow comes out with it and it actually gets it so that my tails are somewhat even so we're gonna go ahead and start on that so what I do is I start with it and I'm gonna take the ribbon and take one end and I'm just gonna hold it here right here at my slit and then I'm just gonna start wrapping so this first one on this side doesn't really count as one so we're gonna wrap so that makes one as I'm twisted here so let's untwist this and that's two so that's two loops going that way and then this last one, I'm going to come up one more time, but only halfway. And I'm going to snip here. So what I did was I started on my right side here. So that's a half, but it doesn't count as a loop because it's going to be part of our tails. And then we wrap. When I come on this side, that's one. And then I come back around again, that's two, and then I'm bringing this back halfway right here to the middle again, because that's part of my tail. So then how I do this is I take my needle and a poster thread, and I just pop it right through the middle so that all my layers are together. And then because my slit isn't so far up, I do that, and then I wrap it around a couple of times just to create my center. So just there, and we pull it in, pull it in tight, just like that, and then I just tie it off, and I snip. go okay so here what I do is I take my one tail and I'm gonna just pull it downward and then I'm gonna reach all the way in here and grab out my other tail hopefully I didn't I didn't there we go and we're gonna pull that down so now our tails are down and they're long so that and then I take my inside loop and I pull it up and I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Inside loop and pull up. You could do it the other way if you like it that way better. And then I just kinda, great with the wired ribbon, is it holds its loop shape. And then I just fluff these. Get them right and keep pull my tails down. Make sure it's how I like it. You have to play with it and manipulate it a little bit to get how you want, but this wired ribbon is great to get the look that you want out of it. Because whatever position you put it in, it ultimately stays there. So, just like that, we're not done yet. And then I just take 3 8 inch wide, something that coordinates with it, and I'm just going to wrap it around a few times. I glue it there and I go around maybe three times. And 
mean, they didn't really count. There. Always heat seal. And then once we've done that, we can pull and form the shapes of our bow. You can do as many loops on these as you want. Some of the times the, the, and if you want to do more loops, I would say use a bigger template. And the only reason I use a template is to keep my loops relatively even. If you can do it without a template, more power to you. Me, I have a hard time keeping them even without my template. So I like my template. So here we have it. And then there's that one with two loops. I do prefer this wider edge on my wired ribbon when doing these. I think that they hold a shape better. And they don't look as messy once you get them all fluffed. Like this one here is with the thinner edge and I'm not like loving it too much. But that's just me. If you like it that way, go ahead. But this is how we do this. And as you can tell, it is really simple and really easy to do. And you can knock out a bunch of them. And you can make your templates as big as you want if you want a really big one. And they sell this wired ribbon in various widths and stuff over by like your Christmas craft section or whatever, especially around Christmas time for wreaths. And you can make as many loops as you want. So there we go. And I didn't measure, but I will leave the measurement for the one that I used, but I'll do it again. I did eight inches, so this is eight inches across this way, and then of course the middle, and cut my slit. Um, and then you just wrap it. This is inch and a half. No, this one is two inch. This one's two inch wide ribbon. This one is inch and a half wide ribbon. And then here on this one, I just cut slits, so all I did. And on these, I wanted deeper slits, so I just folded in half. Like that. And cut up. And then just hit it really quickly, because that organza ribbon burns. So I just hit it really quickly, just so it doesn't shred. So then we do this again. Just cut. And really quickly. And there we have our little spiky ends. Just like that. And then I put them, I'll put them on my Christmas tree, put them on wreaths, however. But like I said, this one is the two inch and this one is inch and a half. So you can see they do make slightly different looks. Your wider widths, you're probably gonna wanna go with a much bigger template. Um, but this works for me. And so I don't measure how much around, I just kind of wrap until I get what I need. And then I cut as you can tell. But I will also put a link to my Facebook page in the description below for you guys to come and ask questions, request videos, come give us a like. I share all my videos there. You can, if you're in groups or whatever, you can share them with your groups. Um, other than that, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't already. And you guys, happy crafting. Thank you.